Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We are doing a Ammo Land breaking news. We've got John Crump from Ammo Land here joining us. John, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Hank? Great, great. I want to invite everyone to uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel here, ring the bell so you can be notified whenever we go live with these. Uh, thanks to Ammo Land for uh, coming in and talking with us about this stuff. Right now, I want to talk about um, there's news going on, going around, swirling around over the weekend, John, um, in regards to the ATF and the bump stock ban. Um, do you want to do you want to talk about that a little bit, or should I like lay out the background for that for people? Uh, either way, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, you go ahead, and then I'll I'll fill in if it needs be. Okay, uh, news dropped over the weekend that the ATF has admitted that they've had no right to ban bump stocks. Right, which... like uh, the firearm channel. I'm just I'm throwing up while you're talking. The firearms blog, excuse me has a headline, ATF admits no legal authority for bump stock ruling. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, been waiting to just... get more information on this uh, from mm -hmm. my sources at the mm -hmm. ATF before mm -hmm. I published anything because, mm -hmm. you know, anybody can read whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I want to inform the readers a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes here. Mm -hmm. So the ATF admitted that they have no legal right to ban bump stocks which is nothing new um i'm no. sure you thought that i thought that they're right. actually that's what we all thought because just backstory for anyone looking at this that's not aware of this um if we go back to what is it now like a year and a half when there was this um, unfortunate incident in las vegas the shooting right is that a year and a half or two years ago at this point about two years ago now. Yeah, about two years. So after that, uh, people demanded that we do something so that this never happen again, um, which is really kind of like a ridiculous thought. So the ATF had looked. Th now, first of all, they claimed that this guy used uh, bump stocks, right? I don't think we're really 100% sure because the FBI kind of like closed that whole investigation and there's no details on that right now. Right. Um, I actually have a source in the F FBI who was mm -hmm. involved directly mm -hmm. in the investigation of the Las Vegas shooting. He was okay. actually on the scene. Okay. So what did he, what does your source say about that? They, what can you they, tell us? What can you tell us at least? I don't want to become Alex Jones here. You know what I mean? But what, what can no, you say? No, mm -hmm. I only deal in facts. Mm -hmm. uh, the F FBI thinks that he used bump stocks, um, but they can't be 100% certain. The How? only reason why they think that he used bump stocks is by analyzing the recording of the shooting. Okay, so hold on. Let me just stop you there before we get deep into this. Um, how can they not be certain when they have the rooms that he occupied as evidence? Oh, And everything therein, right? So I'm assuming this thing happened... Um, and they cornered off everything. They stopped this guy or this guy stopped himself. And then everything that was in his rooms would be evidence, right? It is. FBI okay. works on facts only. Mm -hmm. um, so just because a bump stock is installed doesn't mean it was actually used. Okay. I see what you're saying. So they, they, did, find, they did find something with a bump stock on it in the room. Yeah, and by okay. analyzing the recording, it, it does sound that he probably did use a bump stock. Okay. Can't be 100% certain. Right, but there were many things up there anyway. There's lots of things that he didn't use, lots of casings around. I'm actually seeing pictures of inside the room. Yeah, so for any of, any of us that have used it, have you ever used a bump stock? Uh, yeah. yeah, I wasn't a fan. No, I'm not a fan either. They're very, very difficult. Um, it, it's a completely different uh, mode of operation from normal operation of a machine gun, by the way, or, a, you know, normal use of a AR-15 uh, semi-automatic, right? Because you yeah. can't, you've got to like pull something at the same time that you're, you've got to push something forward at the same time you're pulling the trigger. Yeah. It's a weird kind you of thing. It's a bad technique. 
Yeah, it's a terrible technique. No one's fans of it. I think what a lot of us are upset about here is that the ATF looked at this many times, I believe like three times, at least twice under the Obama administration and said that bump stocks were not machine guns. Is that correct? Yeah. The technology branch said they were not machine guns. Mm -hmm. In fact, I talked to my sources of the technology branch, mm -hmm. which I do a lot whenever mm -hmm. I have a story about the ATF, mm -hmm. and they never ruled that it was a machine gun. Okay. It came from the lawyers at the uh, ATF and the DOJ, the Justice Department, mm -hmm. that redefined what a machine gun is. Okay. So, yeah, once um, once Trump that's was... The, that's yeah. the thing that... that I was waiting before I released my story. Right. To get so, okay. Confirmation. Oh, okay. So that's the weird thing that's going on now is that um, so with, with Trump said he was going to do something about this. You know, it's a whole thing. We can get complicated. I know people can leave in the comments. It's it's. I don't want to get super deep into it because we'll this will be like a three hour video. But um, so Trump said he was going to do something about this. He ordered the ATF to take another look at it. ATF comes back out and, and, and makes another ruling saying that the bump stocks themselves, the actual plastic. So I've got a I've got like a, 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 a mini replica. This is a stock. The rest of this is the gun. So this the actual stocks themselves. The, the ATF is ruling are machine guns. So it's not that you have the stock on the gun. It's just if you if you even possess one, you possess an illegal machine gun. Uh, am I wrong with that? You are not wrong with that. Mm -hmm. The actual bump stock themselves are a machine gun, according to the ATF. Yeah. Now this new thing that them say, that they are saying, you know, we have no legal authority to. To say, say that, that in the first place. But here's what happened. So that came out. That became news. Um, I don't know how many people actually turned in the bump stocks that they have, but there are people who did that. There's a famous case, I think, of um, several, like tens of thousands of those things being destroyed, right? Where we saw the video, you know, they had a crane, they put it into a shredder, they destroyed it. Um, lots of people worried about possessing this because they believe, okay, this is a federal rule. I think it came with a $100,000 fine and 10-year 10 um, 10 sentence uh, and a felony, right? Yeah, unless you are a member, I think it's the uh, FPC, Firearms Policy Coalition. Mm -hmm. I think they were the ones who were leading the lawsuits who had the um, basic, basically the court said, if you're a part of this lawsuit, then you can keep it until the lawsuit's until over. Until that's satisfied. So now the current news that broke over the weekend is the ATF basically coming out, and um, there's several there's several different articles on it. It's not just um, the uh, the firearm blog, but basically if you go into the firearms blog and we pull down, um, I'm looking for I'm looking for for exactly what the um, the ATF says. Yeah, here, here we go. So here's something that I'll, I'll throw up on screen. It says, the statutory scheme does not, however, appear to provide the attorney general the authority to engage in gap-filling interpretations of what qualifies as a machine gun. Congress has provided a detailed definition for the term of the term machine gun. So, and, and basically, um, basically the ATF is saying they, don't have a, they didn't have authority to deem bump, uh, bump stocks machine guns. Yeah, you got to remember though, mm -hmm. the the ruling that changed it or the interpretation that changed it didn't come from anyone technical or the ATF. Mm -hmm. So the ATF is basically saying, according to our rules, mm -hmm. we have no legal authority to ban it. But the AG basically told us to. So yeah, is that was this under Barr or was I'm not sure if Barr was in it at it the time. It started under Sessions. Okay, started on the sessions, bar is in there now. So, okay, so where do we stand here? Is this is this the end of this? Are we waiting for the courts to decide? Um, uh, this is at? definitely not the end of it. Um, if you own a bump stock, you still own a illegal machine gun. Mm -hmm. But okay. it's more ammunition to use in the courts. A lot of people are, people are automatically thinking that bump stocks are illegal again. That's not the case. Yeah, they're not legal, right? No, not legal. Yeah, so they're, they're not legal. legal. Yeah. So don't and I believe I believe this was like also an this was an executive order uh, that Trump put out. So uh, he, he put out an executive order for mm -hmm. the AG to relook at it. 
Right. And then they made a ruling on this. And right now that's all being litigated. So don't don't start dancing in the streets with your with your bump stocks. And I think they have I think there was recently a story where they arrested someone. I think this this was probably someone that's mentally unstable. He threatened someone. And I uh, I don't know if it was Secret Service, whoever showed up, found that he did have some guns and he had one gun that had a bump stock on it. Right. Yeah, that was a literal threat, though. That was a direct threat. Yes, right. He, he said that I uh, can't remember who it was, but he said he was going to kill someone. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna um, this guy shouldn't have had guns in the first place, um, but then I believe they're gonna add charges to him. The crazy thing about this is that these things were legal; they were looked at several times. Americans went out there legally bought them, and now all of a sudden you're potentially a felon just for possessing these, mostly pieces of plastic. I think some of them were made in aluminum. Um, so far as I understand this, there were some out there that were made from aluminum. But basically, pieces of plastic, if you possess it, e- whether or not it's on a gun, that's a machine gun. You're a felon. You get 10 years. You get a $100,000 fine. Um, and, and we're still trying to sort it out. From your uh, perspective, when, when your article comes out on this, uh, what are you going to be talking about? What things are you guys looking at? What I am looking at is what the ATF has said. Mm-hmm. That you know, that they have no legal authority to ban it, and another part of my article is how this did not come. The ruling that bump stocks from machine guns did not come from the technology branch, which has the authority to look at something. And that's who should be looking at it. But they already looked at it and they said it's not. So, it so this and and who did this come from again? Just so, like, do you know, are we speculating who it came from? If we know it didn't come from the technology branch. It came from the AG, basically. Okay. The time. Came, came from the AG. Now, I did see somewhere, I know when I was reading this article, and I've seen other places that people are saying this is, like, the genius of Trump, that he knew that this wasn't wasn't going to be legal, but he did it to look like he was doing something. And he then, does. and so now if it dissolves, that's just his genius. What do you think about all this? One, do you think it's going to dissolve and we'll be able to own or possess uh, bump stocks again? And two, do you think this was the plan all along? Okay, let me handle the, first, the second one first. Okay. I do not believe that this is the plan at all. I do not, but I do not believe that Trump is playing, playing 4D chess, right. as some people say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe that at all. Okay. Okay. I don't uh, either. I think I think it's a stupid thing. Once you get these things, uh, once you get these things there, uh, it's sometimes very difficult to get rid of, and then we're relying on the courts the supreme court and all that kind of stuff and they may never take it up meanwhile you have like a ghost law or something like that floating around that's putting people in jail for a long time okay uh Mm -hmm. here's the thing that i think with the bump stock case Mm -hmm. i do think it's gonna get overturned okay Uh, i don't don't know how like i don't i don't care how liberal you are Mm -hmm. there's no authority to change the definition of a of a term mm-hmm. to fit uh, to fit what you want to be done, mm-hmm. um, if that's allowed to stand, it's going to create a really dev- a really bad precedent that's yeah. going to be used in the future. Mm-hmm. And I think even the liberals realize that that's real bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't know if I'll give them that much credit, man. I think that they'll do. They've made it pretty clear that they'll do whatever it takes. I think the ones that is dangerous for the most is us, because if you have someone uh, very liberal in the White House signing executive orders and commanding the ATF to do stuff, they could pretty much make anything into a machine gun. Yeah, basically. But yeah. then it can be spread to other things like mm-hmm. immigration and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um I, and I think they realize, at least the courts realize how dangerous that is. Mm-hmm. So I hope I so. Be- I hope so. Yeah, I hope yeah. so too. Yeah. So I believe that it's probably going to get overturned. But the thing is, a lot of people, or most people who own them, have gotten rid of them or destroyed them. Yeah. So now, what do you do? So, is there any is there any financial recourse for the people? For so, for example, those videos we saw that that company turned in their stuff. And tens of thousands of these things were destroyed. What, what course do they have? If, and if you're not in Washington State, 
nothing. Washington State actually gave people a hundred dollars per bump suck that they turned in. Okay. Wow. But if, but if you're not in Washington State, you really have no legal recourse. You destroyed your property, and now hey, whoops, oopsie. Yeah. yeah. So how how soon do you think that's all going to get wrapped up? It's gonna it's gonna it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. It's gonna it's going to be a while. Okay. Because if there is going to be appeals and everything else like that, mm-hmm. and stays and stuff like that, and it's almost impossible to determine if a judge is going to issue a stay one way or the other. Okay. But it's probably going to be at least a year or two. Wow. Okay. All right. So don't hold your breath out there. <laughs> I know that maybe some lots of people really excited about it. Um, you know, I, I think ultimately here there's going to be a lot of unconstitutional stuff getting thrown at us. This is just uh, one of them that um, happens to come at us under a Republican and honestly, president who says he believes in the Second Amendment. Go ahead. Honestly, I expected the ATF to come out with the statement. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't really change anything to this point, they've never released a statement, but they were going to have to mm-hmm. for the court case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, honestly, I don't think that this is going to change much at this point. Yeah. Yeah. We have to wait and see. If anything happens, I'm sure MLN News will, will let you guys know. I'll definitely let you guys know. Either we'll talk about it in a forum like this or on the podcast or some other thing. I'll make a video, whatever it is. Um, anything else you want to add before we get out of here, John? No, I'm pretty good. All right, cool. Um, I want to thank MLN News, John Crump, and everyone else at MLN News for, you know, um, doing this with us. This is kind of something we're experimenting with. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, It makes it a little bit easier, maybe a little faster for us to get stuff out there. Um, Make sure that you follow MLN News and John Crump out there. Any um, social media stuff you want people to get in touch with you through? Yeah, Facebook is, if you have a story, hit me up on Facebook, Real John Crump. Mm-hmm. Um, so facebook.com real john crump uh, pitch me your stories there okay. um, also I have a new YouTube channel which is okay. different which is John crump too mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna be putting out like live streams there as, as well yeah um, and other than that you can always hit me up on my patreon at John crump <laughs> <laughs> okay awesome um, if you guys know all my social media is pretty much Hank strange everywhere um, don't make sure you uh, Subscribe to the channel here, thumbs up, and of course ring the bell so you can be notified when we post new stuff. We'll see you soon. We're out of here. Peace. Let us know what you think about all this, right? Let us know. What do you think? Good, bad, or otherwise? See ya.